Tucson Gem Mineral and Fossil Showcase is right around the corner, kicking off this Saturday, January 27th. And people from all over the world will once again be arriving in Tucson to see everything the showcase has to offer. But tourism isn't just limited to these showcases. News for Tucson's Megan Spector joins us live now in Midtown. And Megan, how does the rest of the city benefit from this massive event? These gem shows are expected to bring in about 60,000 people to right here in the old Pueblo. Now, I had the chance to speak with the president of Visit Tucson, Felipe Garcia, and he was able to break down what exactly this rush of people can do for our community. Besides the direct money going towards the gem shows, people are paying for hotels, restaurants, Ubers, local shops, and more. In fact, he tells me there are about 16,000 hotels rooms in the Metro Tucson area, and in the peak of these gem shows, these hotels will be over 90% full. The city is estimating that about $130 million will be spent in Tucson over the next two, two and a half weeks. When they go to a restaurant, they're paying sales tax. And they go to the hotel and they pay sales and bed tax. And when they're doing transactions, they're paying sales tax as well here in the community. So um, even though they might be temporary residents of Tucson, they're leaving a lot of money in our community. I had the chance to speak with one local restaurant, the one behind me, and I'll have more about how they're feeling about this impact coming up at 5. Reporting live in Midtown, Megan Spector, News 4, Tucson.